Hey guys, it's Scruffy. Now recently I've picked up the Black Series Clone Trooper helmet made by Hasbro and I have to say this thing is fantastic, great build quality and it just looks really really nice, maybe slightly oversized but a great helmet. But I do have one issue with this and it's the issue I've had with a lot of Black Series helmets that have been released over the years and that's the voice changer. So in this video I'm going to go over some techniques and using a voice amplifier so you can change your voice to the standard distortion that sounds like this. Yes yeah, sir, let's go. To something that sounds like this. Yes, sir! Let's get those clangers! Videos on the scruffy looking Nerf Hunter channel are intended for audiences of 13 and above. Now first of all, let's go over what these helmets are doing. The Black Series helmets don't really change your voice to sound like the characters. What they do is they distort your voice and give it a bit of an echo. Now this is what the Black Series helmets sound like at the moment. This is the Clone Trooper helmet. One, two, three, test, test. This is the Storm Trooper helmet. One, two, three, test, test. And of course I can't forget the very first voice changing helmet, the Kylo Ren helmet. I remember this being hideous, here we go. Oh, I'm Kylo Ren. <laughs> so you're not really going to sound like a clone trooper or a stormtrooper or Kylo Ren. That's not really what they're designed to do. They're just distorting your voice so you can have a bit of fun with it. The first thing you need to do if you want to sound like the character is change your voice. And that's the hardest thing. Because if I talk with this helmet on with my voice currently, I mean, I've got a bit of a West Country accent from the UK. So you can hear, oh, ar, oh, ar, oh, ar. when I put this on, hello, hello. Hello, hello. You can hear that same voice is coming out, which is no good. So I need to, first of all, change my voice. If I want this helmet to sound good, I need to do something with my voice. There's nothing out there that's going to change my voice for me. So first of all, yes, sir. I need to come up with some sort of New Zealandy kind of accent that I'm happy that clone would say. No, sir. Yes, sir. So just trying to get General Grievous. You know, and this is I'm no stretch of imagination am I any good at accents, but if you listen to the shows a lot, you'll get practice with sender lines. I'm a lot better at doing original trilogy stormtroopers because I've been doing it a lot longer in my life. But you just get used to saying certain lines. If you got a yes line and a no line, and Roger, Roger, you know, you can kind of get used to saying these lines. And um, watch out, clankers! You know, you kind of get the idea that you can say these lines. So when you've got the helmet on. Yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, General. Watch out, General. And at least you're doing something to change your actual voice. Because if I talk regularly, like, yes, General, it sounds like me talking. And that's not what you want. Now, the second thing is the actual distortion on this. It's terrible. We don't want to use it. We're going to use an external amplifier. So this is the voice amplifier I'm going to be using. This is a really cheap one off Amazon. I think it was around 15, 20 pounds. And you can get so many different choices. This one's a pretty basic one, but you can get ones that you can do all sorts with. And even this basic one, I can save MP3s on there. I could download uh, songs on there. So I could actually have uh, Darth Vader's breathing saved onto this push play button and then have a three hour loop of Darth Vader breathing if I wanted to. It also comes with a strap. You can see it on the back there. It's also got a belt clip. These are all pretty generic and they usually come with the headset as well. So here's my headset. Let's plug this in. Now when I plug this in, you'll notice that straight away my voice is going to sound completely different. Hello. There we go. Now I've got the mic on and it gives that Stormtrooper more monotone feel to my voice and obviously Star Wars was originally created in the 70s the 80s and um, you get this monotone sound which really does remind me of the Star Wars universe so now we've got that on oh there we go <laughs> you don't want to get that too close to the headset you do get some feedback now once I've got these two on I can go through my um, my change in my voice manually and then it should sound more like a clone trooper so yes sir no sir Watch out, clankers! And suddenly it creates that character a lot more. Watch out, General! And you, you get the gist, and it feels a lot more like I'm actually talking like a clone trooper. And it just it sounds a lot better than what you get with a clone trooper, um, with the, the built-in sound effects in the clone trooper helmet. So if I put the helmet back on now, give you a few lines. Yes, 
so. Oh. There we go, sir. Watch out, sir! Clankers! General Grievous! On the battlefield! Watch out, brothers! <laughs> oh. Now, I'll see. Oh, put that back down. Now, the beauty about, the beauty about this system is, uh, as well as using it for clone troopers, you can use it for any helmet you've got. Because this is your, basically, your sound your way of talking and sounding a bit more Star Wars-y. So, as well as uh, being a clone trooper, you can change your voice. So if I try and mimic an American uh, sort of monotone voice, yes, sir. Oh, pardon me. I can get that stormtrooper sound. Blast them. Hey, close the blast doors. Open the blast doors. TK421, why aren't you at your post? And uh, it, it sounds a lot more like a stormtrooper. So, when I do that, I can also manually add in sounds myself. So, watch out! I can put those noises in. So, rather than the helmet having to do that noise for me. Hey, you! Don't move! It just means that I can create really cheaply that Star Wars sound that I want to create. And you can buy um, amplifiers like this that actually have those sounds built in. And some of them are really smart. So, as you're talking, it will notice that you finish the sentence and then it will ch 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 add those noises in but i mean this is 15 15 20 pounds the ones that um i think there's one called uh, tramp where um uh, you can get and it's got these sounds built in absolutely amazing but it's over 100 pounds so if you're looking for a budget option this is amazing you know um you can talk to people in character and I think it sounds pretty great. Let's put the Stormtrooper helmet on and you can see how it sounds with the helmet on. Look, sir. Droids. Shh. Open the blast doors. Shh. Close the blast doors. Hey, you. Don't move. Wait, stop! You rebel scum. And I do find when I'm doing a Stormtrooper voice, I do try and grip my teeth together and then try and keep the tone the same throughout the sentence that I'm saying. So, hey you, don't move! Try and keep it exactly as I would imagine it to be said in the film. And then once you've been saying these lines for a while, these little phrases that you can pop in and out, then you start getting used to the actual voice that you're saying. And then you can start riffing a bit more, and you can say things that a stormtrooper would never say. I said the hip, hop, hip, hippy, hippy, hip, hop, hip. You don't stop moving to the gear, bang, boogie, sit up, jump to boogie, bang to the boogie, the beach. You know, and you can have a bit of fun with it. With these units, you can also save sounds in there. So you could also have background chatter of stormtroopers. So it sounds like you've got a radio going on. Um, and save that onto the memory of these things. So these things are so cheap, but they really do enhance what you can do while you're dressed as a character. So definitely something that I'd recommend to other people. And obviously, let's try a few more characters while we've got this on. What about me? He's worth a lot to me. I can bring you in warm, or I can bring you in cold. This is the way. Mando is a bit tight with the headset on, so if you've got a big head, that won't work. I am Captain Cardinal. <laughs> what does Captain Cardinal even sound like? I am Captain Cardinal, and the New Republic will be wiped from the face of the galaxy. And you can even do some Darth Vader breathing, so... Simba, everything the light touches. No. no, I am your father. Impressive. Most impressive. Let me know in the comments below on your thoughts on this video. Are you going to be practicing your favourite clone trooper voice and what is it? I'd, uh, I'd love to know. And also, are you going to be picking up a voice amplifier for yourself so you can sound more like a clone trooper? Or have you got some other suggestions to make the sound on these sound a lot better? Uh, thanks very much for watching, guys. And until next time, may the foam flinging force be with you. Greetings, Exalted One. As a token of my goodwill, I present to you these two videos. Both are about Star Wars weapons that will serve you well. Until next time, may the Faithful Force be with you.